but uh, how do you find the book do you is it really interesting i do uh, find the book interesting it uh, i didn't realize that it's so path sensitive so one of the biggest reasons i think that i've been unsuccessful with docker so far is because i didn't realize how important path is in this like even the smallest um, like yeah. if you if you don't follow those steps exactly to map to the correct drive and then mount it and then it just it it's almost like it never happened it's it's amazing so um yeah i uh, um i guess to be sorry but go ahead me, for me i just try to use uh, my computer not to even docker just to experiment all that stuff because like at the end of the day i need to have those kind of installation on my pc so that oh. I can it. so I'm just practice on my computer, not inside the Docker for now. So how do you um, how do you get all those libraries to um, so uh, to load yeah. on? You could yeah you could I, yeah I just see them. I install it anyone I want. Yeah. So I'm uh, that's kind of interesting. You did that. Let me go ahead and share my screen. And so you're saying you don't even need a Docker instance. You can actually go ahead and just install all of those libraries directly on your local machine. Exactly, exactly. But how do you replicate the environment? I thought the purpose of the Docker was to create like almost a virtual machine and yeah, that way. Yeah, but, but, but yeah. yeah, because now you remember now you are learning and you are learning inside Docker. Now yeah. it means now when you want to do another thing, you and um, you're gonna not you don't need to for example, if you want to do something related to that in your work, you don't need to go through this Docker, right? You need to install everything on your system. So that you need to do that stuff, right? Um, I think Kevin is shared a GitHub repository where all everything library is there for the Docker. Yeah. You install it. He he was also saying that he installed everything on his machine. Well, but yeah, but I think the idea is to containerize it so that you don't have to do everything on each machine separately, right? Like you yeah. want to be able yeah. to just yeah for yeah. reproducibility, you want to be able to. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 But the, the main idea also I'm looking at it is like, now if I finish this book, yeah. how can I use those packages in my computer now? Well, that's, you mean the Docker packages is working. Huh? The Docker packages is working. So wow. I think what you're saying, uh, Shamsuddin, is see, he gets predominantly into scrubbing data, okay? So he's getting mostly into cleaning data, exploring. So basically whatever you would do with the ETL tool, you know, like uh, doing audio transformations, etc. But when it gets into pipelines, okay, so for pipelines, you're really going to need to get into a reproducibility because what it means is that you want to set up something that you can um, replicate on different machines. So you set up one thing. So let's say you have a script where you pull in data, you clean it, you transform it, and then you load it into a table. So if you want to do that in two different environments, one is your test and one is production, if you're working in industry, then you will um, you will need to have that thing containerized because then you create multiple pipelines, one to do yeah. on your test. So yeah. my concern is, I mean, I do remember that message and I think it's okay for just having those commands to run and, and you do things and, and you're, for your own purposes, it's fine. But mm -hmm. if, you, you're, if you're wanting some level of reproducibility and, um, and yeah. uh, you know, that kind of version control, mm -hmm. I, I think the Docker system is invaluable yeah. because then it, it's not as memory intensive or as, as complex as a virtual machine. See, you could spin off a virtual machine on EC2 or on AWS, but that comes with its own set of, you know, mm -hmm. uh, like mm -hmm. there, are, there are things there which you also have to take into account. So this is a, yeah. a leaner, leaner, meaner version of a virtual machine. But I think yeah. it's the biggest plus of this is reproducibility. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, so I went through this chapter, Shamsuddin. Um, I did not spend a whole lot of time on it. My apologies, because I my computer has been giving me a lot of trouble, and I had to upgrade to Windows 11, and then it became mm -hmm. really slow. And so I had to go in and take out a whole bunch of things. And I think only finally yes. this morning, I kind of got it to work again. So yeah. anyway, let's just do a quick uh, uh, recap of what we have done so far. So the first thing is you map to your local directory, right? When you map to your local directory, the important thing to remember here is that if you are not mapped in the exact directory onto which you want your volume to mirror, then it somehow, it just doesn't recognize anything. So mm -hmm. if it is not exactly the same directory from which you want your volume to uh, uh, run, 
it basically mm -hmm. says that none of those exist. So I've had like really bad experience where I was not on the exact path and then on the local machine and it did not like that at all. So I mm -hmm. think we've gone through that before. So we are back to the correct one here. I have changed into the chapter four. And mm -hmm. here you see that here they're getting into uh, talking to us about how we can create parameterized shell scripts. So the first thing they they're doing is that they go in and they pull out these. Um, so un under chapter four, they have this Gutenberg uh, text or whatever, which has like, it's a huge archive of all kinds of uh, uh, classics, English classics, or maybe other classics as well. But uh, you can see that when you just run curl, which is gonna um, uh, get that file for you. And then you, uh, let me go. Yeah, you you are pulling up this whatever this thing is. Um, it gets all of your Alice advent, uh, Alice's adventures in Wonderland. You have all of that here, and then they have a small script here where you pull that out, you convert it into an uppercase, and then you you grep for all the ones which have characters, um, sorted by how many uh, characters there are in a descending order, and then you present the first ten. So, yeah, so I guess this is going by the uh, frequency count of what is the maximum uh, mm -hmm. uh, presence of whatever word. So all of these, as you can see, are except with the exception of Alice, everything else is a stop word. I mean, mm -hmm. the and all of these are either conjunctions or prepositions or whatever. So yeah. after that, uh, what he tries to do is that he has uh, he has a file there called stop words. So if you go and look at his, uh, where is that screen? I thought he had something here called stop words or something, because that's how I'm accessing it. I will maybe have, let me see. Oh, how do I exit from here? I think I'm inside. Oh, I'm trying to execute something. Um, control, control, what is it? Control X for exit. I think I did a bash and then now I'm not able to exit this. So. What about Control Q? Control Q? I have to look on Control Q. Yeah. Uh, control Q. Oh, I have a Control C. Control C. I think, oh, hey, nice. Okay, so now I'm out of that. So let's just take a quick look at what I, uh, let's pull up that. I don't know where that stop words, I thought I saw a stop words here somewhere. But yeah, top know. words, it's called top words, not stop words. Oh, it's called and top words? It's top words, you call them top words. Okay, got it. Uh, okay, so what do we do here? Uh, here, control, Oh, it's on his GitHub. So let's just come back here. So if you look at the, um, stop words, D stop words. Somehow it doesn't seem to display anything. I don't know why. But uh, what you are pasting here, you can see before the sort command, sort command, there is something that you copy it. Must it be there before yeah, the sort? It's just the pipe. That's the no, pipe. after. No, no, no. In the next line. Sort T stop words and trim 20. So I'm just getting the first 20 of that. So, okay, let me do um, this. I mean, the greater than or equal, the greater than sign before the word sort. Oh, it's just a it's just a continuation when your script hasn't ended. Um, let me do this. Do... Head cannot open twenty. Okay, so that doesn't work. Somehow it does not find it. Okay, let me do this. I'll just try and get the text itself and see without any of this. If I can even access that information. Okay. So what I mean is 
you can do the same, but um, see that is just a continuation of your line in Ashram Sutin, but oh, I see what you're saying. I think yeah. I know what you're saying. Okay, because um, well, but now. Yeah, so now it, it's correct. Uh, um, maybe, okay, I think I know. Okay, let me do this. Five. Yeah, so, yeah, you can put the five. And maybe trim 20. I think what yeah. happened is I. Uh, T stop works. Okay, five. yeah. So, um, yeah, can uh, you so, sort. do the sort? Yes, exactly. Sort. So, T. Yeah, so this is the yeah, T stop words, then trim. Yes. And it seems to be highlighting all kinds of here. Uh, it's not showing, right? So I had I had the same problem um, that uh, here in particular. It is not actually showing also. I had the same problem. <laughs> I try it and uh, yeah, this step it's not showing. I, I'm not sure what is what happened, but also for me it doesn't work this day. Okay, so here's one more thing you can try. Let's try go to that location itself to see if that file maybe has been removed. Yeah, it's, it's there. It it's is there. there. Yeah, go. I saw it. Yeah. 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 Okay, so it is there. Okay, so okay, so you had the same problem as well, though. Yeah, That's I tried. Yeah. Okay, curl. Uh, I wonder if you can just do uh, no such okay, so you can't do that. What does T do? Do you know? Uh, let's Shamsa then can I do man uh, T? I don't know what the T command does. I can do that, right? Man question mark T. Is that what it is? No, it's not that. Man T. Got it. Man T is to read from standard input and write to standard output. So, um, should I try just that? Um, D stop words, D stop words. I'm confused. Are you? You know what we can do? Yeah, because the the T command it actually save read from standard input and write to standard output. Yeah, so because you crawl, so it read what you have and write it because you are saving mm -hmm. and to a file called stop words. So what we are doing here is we are creating a file called stop words. Ah, because got it. Yes. We, we crawl we crawl the stop words and now we save the result at a file called stop words and now look at the top 20 in that file that we call stop words. Got it. Okay. So is it possible that stop words? So it should be saving it in the same current in whatever your current working directory is, isn't it? If it does that, if it's crawling it and it is saving it into that. Mm, what is my present working directory? Yes, so I'm in the correct path. Uh, top, it's called stop words. Can you see stop word there? Can you see stop word? I do see stop words there. So it did it, but it didn't. Dis oh, wait. Maybe it wrote it to that, but it didn't display it. Is that probably stop words? Stop. Let's try that. Oh, it didn't crawl in that case. Yeah, so. Uh, get the details yeah stop words uh, yeah it's empty production so okay let me do this how do you remove can i do rm um how do i do that rm stop words does it work to remove mm -hmm. that and try crawling mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. rm stop words okay uh, let's do okay we don't have that now let's try and do this again and see if maybe the crawl Failed and after that, it's just not able to write. You know what I mean? So we sorted. 
So what you're saying T does is it grabs whatever it is from the previous pipe exactly. and, exactly. and, and writes and writes yeah. it into this. Exactly. Uh, Exactly. And then the trim 20 probably displays the first 20, isn't it? No, no, no. Trim give you the top 20, top 20, like head in R. It, yeah, exactly. So it displays the top 20 here on your console. Exactly, exactly. Okay, but it should have already written uh, stop words at this point. So let's let's try and see. If, uh... Yeah, it's not writing which one's it. So um, that. Did you actually get this to work 30? Stop words. Yeah, it's empty. Um, well, minus as I, I know I copied that thing as it. So uh, stop words. E and one section. So then let me go back here. Yeah. So this definitely works. It is E and of the T. So should we maybe um, try and just write it first? And okay, let me do this again. Okay, uh, I'm going to say Rm stop words. Then I'll write it and then I won't do a, a, a trip. Okay, let's just see if the T works. Okay, so it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Um, that is weird. Should I give it an extension, file extension? Does that make a difference? No, right? Um. I Should don't know. Like um, maybe we can put the extension, right? The txt. I don't know because yeah. he, he didn't put extension as well. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Um, but so let me try that. Uh, T stop words dot txt. Yeah, that's not. It. Um, what do we do, Shamsuddin? Um, I'm trying to also look at it if it doesn't work. Um, we grab, we can filter out the stop words right before. Hmm. Well, the thing is, it's kind of needed for the next step because here they grab into that before yeah. it actually does save it there. Yeah, so, it didn't work. It, it didn't work for me also. Um, as I said, uh, because I was thinking maybe when you come to the, I, I will ask, but um, still it didn't work for me as well. I just tried, it didn't work. So here's one thing, hold on. Let me try one thing. Let's try one thing. Just out of curiosity, let me see what the R script has. I'm just curious. If as integer, as dot integer command allows, if length is equal to whatever, stop words, read lines, one is false, close that. Stop words, read lines. So that's just your cursor pointer over there. So you can understand that it is I think the problem is um, when you do the call, the call does not actually download the file. You mean, can, you, uh, can you yeah? Can you try downloading the file only without doing anything? Just download the file. Okay. Without, sure. Yeah, but where does it download it to? Can you save it as something? Let's go back to the previous chapter. Where, you're right. Let's try that, okay? Uh, let's go to chapter three and see if we can just literally download it to something. I think it was here, isn't it? Perl, and then you took. Okay. Yeah, this is, you just see the call and put the link. So one thing we can try, Shamsuddin, is uh, shall we just uh, do this and then uh, trim. Yeah, trim, right? Yes. And see, mm -hmm. yeah, and see if we can get it. Can you see it didn't? It nothing happens. If yeah. you look at the previous one, um, yeah, that yeah. example is shows yeah. you. 
but yeah, yeah but he is he's there. yeah so i'm not sure what is happening it's not downloading and um yeah so yeah i mean clearly something is going on there so it's baby too but um but maybe the minus hold on then i have a i have a thought okay okay why don't we try and take out the whatever the minus sl is see the other one did not have that okay i don't know Let's just see if we get it for whatever it's worth. Oh, sorry. Uh, bad, whatever. Okay. So, bad illegal format or missing URL. So, here we literally just did HTTPS log it. Um, mm. Right? Yeah. How is it that curl here worked for the oh okay? Here's another option. I wonder if this is like GG plot where the end has to have uh, the pipe. You know what I mean? I'm wondering if maybe you know how for GG plot, if you don't have the plus at the end of the line, it won't display that. Is it possible that when you're using this command, perhaps you need- Yeah, um, that, that is just to make it silent that, um, yeah, it makes the download silent. It would not show those percentage total and, you know. Got it. Um, yeah, the S makes the downloading silent. It oh, it is silent. Okay, yeah, I it's see. it's silent. So it's ah. nothing, yeah. You notice that we have all the <laughs> each folder has its uh, whatever commands you're using it has that particular uh, trim see trim is there sort is there and we used both how is it that this particular chapter four you so you notice that it has both trim and sort um, i don't know if what did you say See how it has the trim and sort. Uh, so the trim, uh, mm -hmm. trim is here and sort is here, and we are using both those commands. So those commands are locally stored on your on this chapter. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I wonder yeah. what what that is. Just, yeah, the, uh, I think <laughs> you want to look at the code. <laughs> I'm just curious. What is it doing? See, so, you know, list of windows in the Netherlands. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of weird code to do the. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the implementation. I don't know. But so, it, this actually looks like something that came off of Wikipedia or something. I mean, it literally is something off of Wikipedia. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I am confused. I don't know what's happening. Um, yeah. What is actually, I had the same issue uh, regarding this um, at this point. It didn't work for me. Because like I was writing a draft um, blog post to write um, um, each, because each chapter we are doing like I'm writing a blog post. So oh, that's I, great, Shamsuddin. Please provide yeah. a link to that so that we can also share. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, let me share the last one. Uh, so I started to write for, I started for the- Okay, last let me stop sharing here. Uh, um, it's not, maybe, um, uh, Oh, you want me to share? Okay. I, you know, I, I thought you could share your blog yeah. so that we can also. Oh, so nice. So, and how did you do it, Shamsuddin? Are you doing it through um, any sort of blog down or are you using any R tools or are you doing it on any uh, commercial? Yeah, Quarto. That new stuff called Quarto. 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 Oh, you're using Quarto? Yes, yes. So Impressive. So, you're. You started out with Quarto. That is amazing. How yeah. how did you how did you like it? Yeah, you can see the last chapter I presented. So because like the more I write the blog post, the more I remember all the stuff. This so is it, looking beautiful. Yeah, my previous chapter. 
and uh, look how at did the, you integrate uh, how did you integrate those wordpress comments and all that at the bottom like can you go to that yeah yeah yeah. yeah 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 it's available in quarto it's easy it's available in quarto because i've tried doing it in rmd and oh my god it is not yeah easy. everything yeah everything you can do rmd in quarto everyone each one you like you can do rmd you can do jupiter you, you know or everyone so you can see you know, this one. i set up my own blog using the um what is that called hold on that's very lean and lean um, uh, um oh my god i forgot um uh, thomas mock keeps talking about it and i try to do it with that yeah yeah i, 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 I know it i know it but they are they are migrating from that one to part two they are so can, what can you tell me what you did to get started because it's been my dream to start a blog this year uh, mm -hmm. And I think uh, I'm also really interested in photo. Did you follow any tutorials or something to get to this, or no, what did you? No, no, no. You can get out of speed in like ten minutes. Just set it off like ten minutes. Um, okay. Can you start a blog on? Can you write a blog post on how you started a blog in photo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. This is so great that you did that. Yeah, Impressive. So, so, yeah, I just write it and then. Um, so the idea is like each chapter we do in yeah. this book, I just write a uh, blog post on it. So it, that... it also helps you like remember things, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. So well, I start. I'm sorry, I... Shamsuddin, for this, you're not going to have anything to write because we have not made any progress. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, so what do you, okay. That's great, Shamsuddin. Can you provide me the link blogs.s Muhammad, you know, sh Muhammad, right? Oh, let me share in the chat. Yeah, can you just do that? And also, can you show the Git repo? Can you share the Git repo where this is uh, being the stored? What? So your Git repo where you actually have ah. that. Oh, so yeah, that, yeah. That way, you know, I can. Um, this is awesome. I didn't realize. So you are. Are you a postdoc or are you uh, a professor? No, in? PhD. <laughs> PhD student. <laughs> That's nice, but you're doing NLP. That's great. Yeah. So this is just the GitHub repo. So it really took you just 10 minutes from Sudan. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, just 10, 20 minutes you set it up, everything. It just is so easy. It's so easy to cut to. Um, and it, it seems to be very um it, it seems like you can integrate Python, you can integrate R, yeah, any kind yeah. of scripting tool yeah, can yeah, be integrated into yeah, it, right? Exactly. So in, in particular, um I, I will have my Python because I have some blog that I'm right re reading. You're also uh, doing Python? Okay, wow. Yes, so I will write uh, one blog post on Python, yeah. I'm and impressed, Shamsuddin. I think uh, whether I learn Docker or not, I you you inspired me to start uh, a blog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, I, I, well, so that I can give you some content for your uh, blog, let's try and get this to work. Otherwise, you're not going to have much to enter for your uh, for your next blog post. I'm sorry. Um, I'm stuck as stuck can be. So the curl is trim is only used to make the output. Let's see if we can ah see. Let's see if we can use this curl. You all you have to do is use the greater than sign and let's see if we can get that to. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't yeah. know. Yeah, maybe we can, since it doesn't work, we can go and maybe try to go through the chapter. Um, yeah, shall we post? Uh, I think, first of all, we need to report it to the author uh, that that's not working. So, yeah, I will read it and write uh, my blog post on the chapter. <laughs> Yeah, but having said that, now without the stop words, I think we can still do what he's suggesting here, but we just won't be able to integrate the stop words into it. So let's mm -hmm. try it with that. I actually have that done already. One second. I think here the issue is you kind of have to go down there. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, I think we have this somewhere. So we'll do that. 
this is where you'll see it. I'm sorry, I can't. Oh, I know what happened here. The reason why it went into trim is because I had redirected it to trim. That's why I have trim here with the windows of, I thought maybe it is actually the command trim that has been stored, but I see now the mistake I made. Okay. You see, I had, I had a beta then, so it had actually saved it there. That's why. Mm -hmm. Forget it. Um, Okay, so it's not able to find that. Um, command not found. Let's just get it all the way. Okay, sort. So we don't um, have the correct. Um, Pavitra, you, you cannot do this. You can look at when you copy, you copy the um, prompt. So you cannot have the prompt in the command. Look at the greater than sign control. Ah, it comes with the prompt. I see. Okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, correct. You're right. So that cannot be done, isn't it? Correct. Um, okay, then let's do this. Um, you cannot just move on or remove the prompt. Can you actually take it out? I think you'll have to do it line by line then, I think. Okay. Okay, so. That's So I, since we don't have the stop words, Shams and Inshallah, we'll just move on to unique. Is that okay? Oh, it's not looking so obviously. Mm. So, so yeah, I can't. I'm not sure why you're giving the error. What's this one? Translate the characters. I'll just do the This works at all. Okay, so it does it does work. Okay, so that must have been my bad. Okay, so type it to the next. Yes. 
So, so it does sort the, the Project Gutenberg ebook of Alice Adventures. So it has sorted it, right? Okay. Yes. But the problem is we can't take out the stop, we can't take out the stop words since mm. we don't have um, so not sure what to do there. These are all the unique words in the book, but it's all got a whole bunch of um, stop words since we can't take that out. You see what I mean? How did we get each one so many times? What did you say? I just did a uh, sort. Okay, let me show you what you didn't did. trim it, I see, right? Yeah, in the in the um, descending order, opposite direction. Um, it's not in us in ascending or descending. I, I I've done exactly what it is, except for not removing the stop words. Um, because I think there is no stop word, so it's not filtering here. So but I wonder why these are showing up so many times because you're supposed to do unique. Ah, uh, okay. So what happened is um, um, what happened is uh. Okay, use the use the unique. Oh, okay. Um, because what happened is it's after you use the gray, mm -hmm. meaning it is a unique that will count each word and give it. So the command after gray unique is the one that totals the sum. Okay. You can, yes, you can use the unique now and see what will happen. Use a unique command. And take out the sort. Unique, yeah, unique command, you, unique dash C. No, 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 after the sort. Oh, 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 oh. I already have that, so. Oh, okay, you have the unique as well already. Oh, I don't oh, know. But now it worked. But the oh. sort, when you did the sort, somehow it, uh, I don't know. So if after unique, it's fine, okay. But if I do a sort minus NR again, you start to get um, that. Mm. Wow. Isn't that interesting? How did that happen? I don't know she's been big yet. Um, do you get it, Chance again? Um, yeah. Sort, and then I'm going to oh. <laughs> Why do you remove the sort? Well, I don't know what, what is going on, frankly, because um, Thank you. 
Yeah, I think we can we can just go through the the book and uh, yeah, we can explain as we go. I think something doesn't work. Okay, so I think all of these are straightforward. All we are doing here is um, just getting. But let's do one thing. Let's just go. Let's not do exactly what he's doing. We can go ahead and try the other commands here. So it doesn't have to be okay. the same thing. So what we do is. Um, let me go to the editor. Yeah. So hmm. the editor. What is FC? FC is the editor. It's the inbuilt editor. It's called Nano. Ah, okay. So it invokes the default whatever. So. And let's just do something simple here so we can just learn how to save it. Okay. PR upper lower. We do a grep here and then save it. That's it. Okay. So GR AP. Uh, capital E. And then we put the search string. A to C. Backslash. That's it, right? Is that enough? So, mm -hmm. and then you need. C, oh, sorry, C, um, right? So I think uh, we can exit here. I'm going to do control X, save, modify, yes. And the name we're going to give it is what? Um, what did he call it? Let's call it, um, let's call it something. Yes, you want to save it under. I'll just say top um, hyphen no um, no stop word. Okay, just for our reference, stop words. Uh, dot sh. Okay. Mm. Save under a different name. Yes. Okay. So let's run. Stop. Top. Top no stop word or sh. So I'm just gonna pull that up. Back top no stop words dot sh. Okay, so we have all that there. Okay, so we do have the file. Let's go ahead and see if we can just get it to run. Uh, I'm gonna okay. just put it. I'm just gonna put it in bash. Mm -hmm. uh, and then. Ash, top no, let's see if that runs. Oh, it went to back. Interesting. Bash, okay. Mm -hmm. Unmatched something. Okay, so if it is out of the list or something. Ah, I haven't closed this button. Sorry, FC. FC. How do I how do I go back to this control? Um, FC top stop words dot sh. How do I edit this translator? Um are you writing it? I think. Uh, okay. Um, can so you in, in the editor? Like, if you want to see the editor, you type nano. Can you type nano? Then you yeah. write it in the file. It's mapped to nano, so the the command is fc. Oh. 
just do FC in the name. Yeah. Sorry. But what I'm. Oh, I think you're right. You can just say nano. Nano. No. Okay, yeah, you're right. I think I have not closed this correctly. So let's come in here. Could I see? Let's see. Just see if you can spot anything. Backslash that. And this one can put the open parentheses. So backslash. Okay. So I had the wrong uh, parentheses. Okay. So I think control X. Yes. Now let's try it. Bash. Bash. Let's do that. Okay. Yay, it works. And it gives us the top 10. Do you see that, Chamsa? Do you see that we could we got that thing to work, but now let's put it as a fixed input. Ah, so now we remove the fixed input and now you need to set what is called a parameter. What if you wanna update from any other ebook? Okay, so that's what he's saying. Now you can take out the fixed input and you can make it, uh, uh, you know, but, uh, you can parameterize it. So. Let's see. Um, this is updated script Okay. Yeah. I think they map the nano with the FC. So it just open when you type nano. So how do you get the file name here? Hmm? How how does how does it get the file name here? So it's saying that if you want to do this for any file that you do this. Um so oh they take out the curl command. And then you have this. How do you parameterize this to? To what? You just pull it up from any oh, file. Okay. Mm -hmm. Works. So here. See, this is not what we have here. It's so it's so different from what he's representing here. You see, I'm seeing the exact file that he has, top words 4sh mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't see the things he's seeing. There's no uh, the grep is completely different. Yeah, I, I can see. I can see. Um, but if you look at it here in the in the top, he does something. He do CP something like that. He added something. He updated the top word. Can you see that? He updated the top word file. Oh, yeah. Look at the top two lines. Oh, I got it. So he copy. No, CP is doing the copies from something. What okay. he's doing is yeah, he he's, copied something. Yeah, it's changing okay. it from top words three to top words four. Exactly. But I don't know what it does. Um, SED. The stream editor for filtering and transforming text. D was two D. It's used to perform basic text transformations on an input. Two D. What is two D do? S E D hyphen I. I. Suffixes edit files in place. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it says it's a it's stream editor for printing and transforming text, but yes. Um, <laughs> What does two D mean? What this said is a stream editor. For Let's see what does hyphen i do. Suffix edit file in place. Okay. Hmm. Suffix. 
It doesn't want to, oh, but it's waiting for an input, I guess. So if you run it, right, if you do a bash on that, mm -hmm. for example, that, add arguments. Uh, so this is the place where you're actually adding the arguments. Yeah, add the argument. Yeah, I really like this section where you can have the argument. Because I didn't know this before, and uh, when I read it, I said, wow, okay. So what does the previous one do before we add the num to it? Um, Perl minus sh. Oh, I see. Here, what they are doing is they are passing it directly to the script, right? Okay. Because of the fact that since the first line of the script is tr, what it says is if a script starts with a command that needs data from a standard input like tr, Mm -hmm. then it will automatically take what you provide before you give the script name. So for example, if I do this, um, okay. Okay. So if I run this, um, then it opens up the, okay. So I can even change this to give it another file and it will do whatever is there in my text. Okay. So if I change this to two mm -hmm. and run it, okay. you see how you're getting different yes. things. It's yes. giving you a count. Yes. But if you want to parameterize it such that you, um, so this in this you're still providing that, the name of your file before the pipe. Mm -hmm. But if you want to make it truly dynamic, then you can add the argument and that's what this does. So yeah. if we add this line to our uh, text, so let's go into nano. Okay, I'm going to open this. And so we add this. Yeah, and here I'll say that. Um, So let's just first provide the path exclamation backslash u. Can you, uh, Shamsuddin, can you read that to me so that I can uh, type that so that way? Or maybe you can copy it. Uh, but I, I think we have the file, right? Top words 5.sh. Yeah, no, this I'm going to. Uh, okay. Now, here, paste that. Somehow within the script thing, it doesn't do it. Okay, never mind. Num underscore. Words. I just want to see if this works, and I think we'll be at least you'll have some content to share. Um, what is it? One, two, ten. Close the flower parentheses, and then this. Does this look correct? Shamsu can just see if I made any type of num words. And then here we will come mm -hmm. here and we'll say that. We are going to refer, oh, sorry, oops, minus 10. You need the bracket. Close the flower parentheses, that, right? And here, mm -hmm. oops, why does it do that? Okay, let me do this. Okay, minus 10. And here, we will provide, what is the terms of thing? Uh, dollar parentheses, N U M underscore words. Close the parentheses, close the double. Okay? Yeah, it looks okay. Yes, yes. Control X. Yes. Okay. Okay, well, let's try it. It's I didn't save it with a different name. So we have that. 
Now, if you want to see the 20 most, and um, yeah, so let's. Oh, so what you can do is you can get the file, save it into a text file, and then provide that as a parameter. Mm -hmm. So let's do that here. Okay. Okay, so I'm saving this as alice.text. Yes. Uh, so we, do you see alice.text here? Yes. Okay, I see it. Yeah. So then, do you need to do, I guess you need a, a lesser than character, right? Yeah, I can see. <laughs> Alice.text. And then um, the dot tells you that you need to be in root. Mm -hmm. And then you do top. Oops, sorry. No stop words. Yeah. SH. Yeah. No, so let's see. Is it correct? Yeah, it's fine. It's top. Well, I'm not using theirs. I'm okay. I didn't okay. I'm not using okay. okay. Oops. So ah sorry, I I uh, typo. I'm sorry. Instead of Alice, I have slice. So sorry, my bad. Oh yeah. Okay. Permission, permission denied. So I think what it is is we forgot one step, and that is to give a, give ourselves permission to run something. So I think we didn't do that. So actually, mm. if we go ahead and say that you want the oh. permission to execute that, I think that would yeah. be fine. Okay, so let's um, It is already time, Pavitra, and um, yeah. One second, one second, Shamsi, I'm just going to do this. Okay, just give okay. it one second. Okay. Let's just do change more, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, change more on this. We just change it to, X will give us, uh, X will give us the ability to. Uh, Run the fire. Execute. Stop. Word start message. Yeah. So this will give us execute privileges. So now let's try it. Yes. See that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so if you look at nano for top, uh, no stop words dot sh we have not hard coded the file name so it is being passed dynamically and once we gave the execute command on that we are able to pass that alice to this and it's doing uh it's displaying that right yes okay cool well at least we got something to at least i got something to work from something so. <laughs> yeah um, I will go. Uh, um, definitely, I will write a blog on this and uh, on this chapter, and I will share with you so that you can give me feedback before I publish it. <laughs> no, you publish it. I want to start my own blog now because you have inspired me. <laughs> yeah, I will share oh. with you maybe before the end runs. I will finish it and I will share with you. Okay, thank you, Rishan. I appreciate okay. it. And sorry, I don't know. I think we should uh, yeah. post a message for the author that that thing doesn't work. Yeah. Okay, see you. And in the next week, I will pre present this scrubbing chapter. And then chapter five. Okay, bye. Okay, thank you. See you. Bye bye. Okay, bye. See you next week.